Greetings and salutations. Welcome to today's recording on level two organic chemistry question two of the 2019 exam paper. So let's get into this particular question. Um, so the first one that we're going to look at is the flow chart question. Um, so let's go through the flow chart. Now, if you can't memorize your flow chart yet, maybe have your um, the flow chart in front of you and then we can work this out. But the beauty of the flow chart is that if with, it, with enough clues, you can figure out um, most of the reaction by just understanding what we're trying to do. So if you came from the first video and if you look at this particular, this is the alkene and then you see with any reaction that the alkenes do, like all of these, you break the double bond. So if I'm like, just pretend I don't know anything about chemistry and I'm just doing this particular reaction for if I do CH3, go to CH, let's just scroll down, um, CH3 turning to CH and um, CH3, CH, the uh, one CH2, so that's prop one in. If I react with HBr, you make two products. Why do you make two products? So let's just look at this CH, CH2. Now, so when you react with HBr, first thing first, so we're going to react with HBr, the first thing first is that you're going to need to understand two th first thing first you break the double bond you see i broke the double bond and i just copied it twice so here they are now i'm trying to add the hbr into the molecule so if i broke the double bond onto these two carbons they no longer as you can see they no longer have four bonds so what can i do i'll put h here and i put br here or I can do the opposite. I can put Br here and put H here, because it's just that's just adding the molecule into the adding the atoms into the molecule. And which one's major, which one's minor? This is when you have to. That's why I did it in different color pens. You have to look at these two carbons. Which of these two carbons have more hydrogens? So this carbon right here has two hydrogens, whereas the carbon on the left has only one hydrogen. So it is more likely for the hydrogen to be added onto the carbon that already has more hydrogens. So that's going to be major. This is going to be minor. And um, as you can see, the next question explain how you identify the major minor product. So we'll get to the explanation a little bit more. Okay, so the major is going to be CH3, CH, CH2, and with the Br on the second carbon. Whereas the first one will, uh, the, for D is going to be on the on the first carbon. Okay, so let's come back here. Um, so if I do the same thing on this side, if I react CH three CH CH two with water and H plus, so the H plus is a catalyst, and the water can be split into the OH and H. So as you can see, I break the double bond. I will break the double bond and I'll do exactly the same thing as I did with HBr, but in this time I'm adding H and OH. So you can do exactly the same thing as what we did just now. And you can decide which one's major, which one. so I'm just gonna, I'm just going to chuck the um, I'm just going to chuck the H here. So let's just put the H here. Oops, that's not selected. Um, put the H here, put the OH here. Or you can put the OH here, put the H here. And then you can decide, hold on a sec, this carbon has more H already, so this is going to be major, and this is going to be minor. Okay, so B, major or minor product. So I think they just want either one. So let's pick, let's just be more correct. Let's just chuck the major one in because you know, they want either. So it makes no difference which one you put it. Okay, so the reaction going back to go this way, you need this is in another word, this is diluted H2SO4 or diluted acid. To go back, you want concentrated H2SO4. That's just from memorizing the flow chart. And then another way to check your D and E is you can see, you can see that the way they've drawn this, um, this is essentially drawn like this without the H's. Can you see? All I've done is I just replaced the Br with an NH2. So this thing, the reagent we use must have nitrogen. Okay, so this is when you need to understand we would add a conch NH3 in alcohol. And a lot of people go, hold on a sec, it's only NH2 here. Why would you add an H3? Well, you have to understand this is a substitution reaction. One of the H's, one of the H's in NH3 
want to hang out with the BR because the BR got kicked out and then he has to have a body to you know make life better for that person so the H decided oh I'll just hang out with you and make you stable not so lonely and the other two hydrogen tagged along with the nitrogen and you made that okay so this is conk H and H3 dissolved in alcohol now for the polymerization um, with the polymerization this is going to be uh, where should I do this? Let's do it. I'm gonna rub that out. Let's do it on the top right hand side corner now Again, this is similar to um, what I said before um, With the with the geometric isomers always put the carbon Actually, let's just redraw that you need to do this particular method put the double bond like I say put the CC double bond in the middle can you see this carbon on the right hand side is bonding to two H's so that means it's bonding to two H's the carbon on the left is bonding to a CH3 and another H okay so this is one repeating unit so what I can do I can just put I can just draw another one because what is polymers polymers is when you have multiple of the same thing that are um, monomers and they will join together so this is two repeating units so what is going to happen if I put them next to each other what happens to the carbon carbon double bond again guys you de oop, I delete the carbon as well um, you you get rid of the double bond and you join these together okay so you can do these as many times as you want and um, but normally I just do two just to show but I put it in here just to show uh, just to show this can repeat n times so how do you call this so what what is that thing here this is called a this is propane so what is the name for this polymer this will just be polypropane so it's whatever your pro is whatever your alkene is you just chuck uh, put the word poly in front of it and then you got polypropane okay so that's your functional um, that's your um, reaction flow chart if you got six out of um, seven that's an excellence okay moving on let's do the next part explains how you identify the major minor products in c and d so let's scroll up a little bit so we can see um, and in the major minor product and with the hydrogen uh, with hbr so this is just explaining what we did up here um, you know i'll just quickly do this again so if you have this particular thing and then if you add the HBr you make two products because you break the double bond um, you break the double bond and you put the as you can see again I'm just using the same method you put the hydrogen here you put the Br here you put the Br here you put the hydrogen here and then you just go wait this carbon has more hydrogens already bonded to it therefore I need to give it another hydrogen hence this is major and the other one's minor now please be mindful when you're answering these so I'm just gonna go through the answers with you so this is an reaction to you don't need to say asymmetric alkene you just need to know when the HBr is added the double bond breaks so that's an additional reaction there are two possible structures the H atom is more likely to bond with carbon with more hydrogens therefore the second carbon has only one the first carbon has two therefore the H from HBr bond to the first carbon and be up on so second carbon making that the major product okay so while you're reading that and the other one's a minor product as see as you're reading this i don't know um how tempting how tempted you were just to write um like uh, not like this it's like um rich gets richer okay so that's how we normally teach the students to get you to memorize and to understand how this thing works but rich gets richer is not a rule of science it's not a rule of science it's a rule of economics you know um, so we don't include that in there and as you can see this is um you know also known as a Markovnikov's rule I don't you don't see Markovnikov's rule written down here you don't need to give us those names you don't need to spend time memorizing these names of the rules and principles you know you just need to tell us what the rule is is the hydrogen is more likely going to bond to, to a carbon with more hydrogens okay so that's a rule so that's how you determine if it's major or minor and if you don't like writing the, the second let's like say if you if I want to reword this because I'm a little bit you know all scientists are a little bit lazy um, this is what I tend to do I just label this I'll label this carbon number one I'll label this carbon number two I'll label this carbon number three and when I say the second instead of saying the second carbon has one hydrogen I'll just do this carbon number two has one hydrogen and carbon number one 
has what two hydrogens but then you have to make sure you label them because then we'll know your carbon number two is talking about this carbon your carbon number one is talking about that carbon okay um major minor again excellent question okay so if you got the two if you got this particular question and the flow chart you would have got excellence ready for this question okay so i think that's um, pretty good pretty good deal next one compare and contrast the reaction forms compound b to the reverse reaction that forms propane from compound b okay so let's think about so what was compound b again sorry i have to scroll up um okay so compare contrast reaction that forms compound b and the one that goes from um, the reverse reaction so you need to understand that if we go from if we go from the alkene with the h2o plus uh, h2o slash h plus uh, H2 slash H plus, you make the major minor products. I'm just going to draw one because they only ask for one. Um, so what type of reaction is this? This is an addition reaction. So this is an addition reaction. Why? Because you have broken the double bond and then you added the H and uh, sorry, the H and one of the OHs onto the two carbons that were originally double bonded. So you have broken the double bond and you have what we call saturated the molecule okay so saturation is you know when you're breaking the double bond and you're making it saturated okay so the reverse reaction if i want to go the other way oops if i want to go the other way at that point that dot's going to bother some people um so if we go the other way from ch3 ch2 oh going back to conk using conk h2so4 you are going to do the opposite. So what you're going to do, you're going to delete this function group. You always delete the OH in this case, and you have to delete one of the H's from the neighboring carbons. So what you're going to have is that you will form a double bond. One of the H's still stays behind and you make the products uh, of exactly the same thing as what you started with. So this is a um, this is an elimination reaction okay so when you make an eliminate when you have an elimination reaction you have removed oh and h you have removed water the water is removed whereas this, the water is added so that's what they mean by compare and contrast so the water is added into the molecule the water is removed from the molecule and that's a big difference and when you make a double bond so this is what we call unsaturated because you can still bond more things with a double bond. So this is unsaturated. So you've gone from you've gone from saturated, so um, everything's fully bonded, to um, unsaturated. Whereas this one, you're going from unsaturated, which has a double bonded, um, which has a um, CC double bond. So this is unsaturated and you have gone to saturated okay so that those are the big things that we want you to talk about okay so if you read the answers the reaction that forms this addition reaction the one's broken you add the reverses removal it's an elimination reaction and you form an unsaturated molecule with a double bond so the elimination use conk whereas the other one uses dilute h2so4 so you're just comparing what you're using what you're getting what type of reaction the reaction opposite in that one breaks a double bond the other one forms a double bond so one increases saturation one decreases saturation okay so this is the last excellent question for this um ask excellence opportunity for this question so there are a total of three. If you got two out of three, you got E7. If you got three out of three, then you got E8. Okay. So this is, um, again, quite a nice question. So it asks you about the major minor products, asks you about the flow chart, and asks you about the reaction between, you know, the difference between the types of reactions. Okay. So again, I hope this video um, is helpful to you. And uh, I'll be doing the video, um, video number three, uh, question number three shortly. And like always, if you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe and um, share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you a bit later with question three. Okay. I'll see you later.